Let's see we're gonna draw a Koopa shell. Yeah, an empty shell, or with, with no Koopa. Yeah. M maybe it's inside, but it's right before you kick it and then it goes flying. Yeah. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use a pencil first and then a marker. You also need? Some paper and some clothes. Yeah, all right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first use our pencil to draw the general shape of our shell. We're gonna start up here and we're gonna draw a big circle. I'm gonna press hard so that it shows up dark on the camera, but you can press lightly so it's easier to erase. Uh, I'm gonna go back over it a couple times, make sure I get the right shape. There we go. You could draw that a little bigger. That's the nice thing about using a pencil, is you could draw it again, and then when you get it just the way you want it, then you can erase the other lines, and we can switch to our marker. That's awesome. I like how big you drew that. Okay, you could erase the inside circle. We're done with our pencil, so let's put that off to the side, well, for now, and switch to our marker. We're gonna use our eyes to measure our circle, and we're gonna split it in half, and we're gonna add, let's add a guide point, at the halfway mark on the left side, and also a halfway guide point over here, too. Now this next part's gonna be a lot of fun. We'll start on the left side, on this guide point, we're gonna curve out and up, and then we're gonna come back to the shell. We're back to the pencil line. Then we're gonna keep going, and we're gonna come down this time. I'm gonna turn my paper so it's a little easier to see. We're gonna come down like this, and then we're gonna curve back up slightly to run right into the guide point. So we've got that little, this is the outside shape where the little white border that goes around the shell. You did it. Okay, now we're ready to draw the other side of the shell or the other side of this border piece. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw just a little curve up and then we're gonna, I'm gonna turn my paper sideways again so I can see. Then we're gonna follow, look, we're following that exact same line and then we're gonna come out here to the pencil line and then follow your first line there you go. Then on the bottom line, we're gonna continue around and connect up to the other guide point. We did it. You know, your shell, the shape of it is really cool. I'm gonna use my pencil and make the top of my shell just a little taller. So I'm gonna come up like this. And if you, if you guys at home want to do the same thing to make your shell a little taller, you can do that too. But I think yours looks perfect and I wanna make mine look more like yours. So I'm gonna make this top part, part taller with my pencil line, and then I'm gonna go in and erase the, the first line, the line I don't wanna keep anymore. Let's also switch to our eraser and erase the guideline, the pencil lines, inside of this first shape that we've drawn. So over on the left and then also on the right. Anytime we fast forward the video, or if we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. All right, let's keep going. Kay. We're gonna switch back to our marker, and we're gonna trace over the top pencil line. So I'm gonna turn my paper, it's a little easier for me to see if I turn it sideways. We're gonna just trace right on top of that pencil line, the guidelines. Now let's draw the bottom of the shell. We're gonna start here on the left. We're gonna curve down and then curve back inside and then stop right about there. We don't wanna connect up to the top. This is where the Koopa's head pops out. Then we're gonna start inside and we can draw a letter U right there. Then let's come back down here and we're gonna draw on top of the pencil line, guideline, all the way over to the other side. And on yours, you could start right here and then come down and finish your shell. Oh, that looks awesome. Now let's draw the part where the Koopa arms and legs pop out. We're gonna draw another U shape right about here and another one back here. Oh, since we color these in black, I'm gonna draw this one a little bigger and this one also a little bigger. 
let's color in these three shapes, this one and then these two also. This part will fast forward, so remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings also. Now we're ready to add the texture. Let's start on the bottom and we're gonna draw a curve that starts here and we're gonna curve over and then connect up into the, into the hole where the arm pops out. Yes, and then we're gonna draw another one. We'll start here, but this time we're gonna curve up in between the two. Yes, and then let's add another one that connects to the back, the leg hole. <laughs> now we're ready to add the texture on top of the shell. Let's start by drawing an upside down V right here. We're gonna come up and then back down. Let's add another upside down V right here. We'll go up and back down. It's kind of a big upside down V. And then let's draw a line that comes up from the top of that V. And this line over here, I'm gonna draw it more diagonal. You see how I'm kind of coming in? I'm gonna draw this one a little higher too. Cool. And then we can connect those two lines together. And then let's draw a diagonal line coming out from this corner. We're going to connect to the front. And then this one over here, we can connect up to the top. Awesome, we did it. We finished drawing our Koopa shell. It looks awesome, except we still need to color it. This part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. I hope our friends are going to color their drawings. Me too. What color shell are you going to do? Green. Green? I'll, I'll do red. Now, before we color it, let's use our eraser and erase the guidelines that we can still see. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Thanks, man. You did a great job, too. And I think it looks so much better colored in. I think so, too. We use our biannual markers to color in our shells. I use R107 for the red. What was your green color you used? G406. Yeah, if you have the same set, you can use the same colors. For the bottom of the shell, we used Y611. I love that we colored our two drawings differently. You could even color this blue and add spikes for a blue shell. That'll be really fun. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your Koopa shell. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.